Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to deal with numerical values using the Power Query Editor. So let me show you one quick slide and then we're gonna head right away to Power BI and show you that in action. So let's assume that you would like to calculate the average GDP per capita. If you recall, if you try to zoom in here and you grab the GDP per capita column, and let's assume that you would like to calculate the average of that column. What's gonna happen is if you try to calculate the average GDP per capita using the add column menu. So if you recall, I had the transform one and I had the add column menu, right? If I select the add column menu, Power BI won't allow it. You will find that simply it's gonna be blocked, okay? And that makes sense. The reason is, is because this operation is going to return one single value. Because you are calculating the average GDP per capita, there is gonna be one single value. It's not gonna be a column. So it doesn't make sense to add a new column that contains only one value. And that's why kind of Power BI is kind of trying to block certain features in there that doesn't make sense, okay? So therefore, if you would like to obtain the average GDP per capita, you must perform this operation using the transform menu only. You can't do it in the add column menu. And that's it. Let me head back to Power BI and then show you that in action. All right. So right now we are back in Power BI and I would like to click on transform data to open our Power Query Editor. And if you recall what we have done before, we have been able to convert everything here to uppercase in our practice opportunity. But what I would like to do right now is I would like to go back to our happiness report data. That was the main original data that we used before. And what I would like to do is I would like to obtain the average GDP per capita. So I'm gonna head to the GDP per capita. And when you click on it, and if you go to the add column menu, and then you try to calculate statistics, you will find that this is simply blocked here for you. You can't click on it. And as I mentioned, it doesn't make sense to add a new column that contains one single value. That's all. If you go back to the transform menu and you click on statistics, you will find that right now it actually has been activated, has been enabled for you. So if you click on statistics, you will find that you can calculate the sum, you can cal calculate the minimum because this is a numerical column. You can also obtain the maximum, median, average, standard deviation, count values, and count distinct values as well. I would like to calculate the average. And please note, something interesting is going to happen right now. If you click on average, what's going to happen is Power BI is going to collapse everything for you. And it's going to show you one single value here, which is 0.9. And this is just for display purposes. We're just here displaying basically this value. And that's it. It's not going to be stored anywhere. And that's where I would say measures, and that's what we're gonna be doing in the future, we're gonna come into play. But what's gonna happen right now is I would like to go back and delete or remove the calculated average step. And that's how you can calculate the average GDP per capita. Okay, the next step that I would like to show you is I would like to count the number of unique items in a given column. So let's assume that I would like to count how many unique items that I have here in my country or region. I'm gonna to go to country or region, and then I would like to count the number of unique items. So I'm going to, to my transform menu, and then I'm going to statistics. And what you notice is that, again, Power BI is quite smart. It detected already that this column is not numeric, doesn't have numbers, it has text data. And that's why if you try to click sum, minimum, maximum, it's not gonna allow you. It doesn't make sense. What is the sum of these you know, text information? But what you could do is that you can count distinct values. You can count unique values. So if you click on count distinct values, it's gonna tell you, well, I have 156 unique countries in my data sets. Okay, this is great. And again, the entire Power BI table has been kind of collapsed and you only ended up with one value. To go back, you need to remove this step. So now I'm going to remove it. And please note that what we're doing right now is just a basic, simple EDA operation or exploratory data analysis. We're just exploring the data, kind of trying to see how many unique values I've got, what is the average GDP per capita and so on. Okay, finally, what I would like to do is I would like to round the perception of corruption 
to the nearest two decimal places. To do that, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to grab my perception of corruption. So this is the perception of corruption column. And then I'm going to go to the transform menu because I would like to make changes to the existing column. I'm not adding any new column. I hope you uh, get it by now. And then what I would like to do, what you find here is that there is a rounding option. And I would like to round, select the last one when you click on round. That is going to tell you, well, how many decimal places you like. I'm going to select two and then I'm going to say, OK, and here we go. Now we have been able to round our perception of corruption column to two decimal places. And that's it. This is kind of a quick overview of the numeric operations that you can do in Power BI, Power Query Editor. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you in the next lesson.